In this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts as well as a review on the Elgato Stream Deck. And this is a fantastic little piece of equipment that you probably didn't even know you needed. And to be honest, well, you don't need it. But it is convenient and it is fun. A great tool if you're doing any live streaming or tutorial videos just like this. It works on a ton of platforms, Twitch, YouTube, a bunch of different software, including OBS, which is a great free product where you can do your live streaming and a ton of other things. So I thought we'd just look at this today and show you exactly what this is all about, give you my thoughts and experience on it so far, and uh, we'll see if it's gonna be right for you. So let's have a quick look at what this thing comes with and uh, what it looks like. So let's have a look at what comes in the box. There's not a heck of a lot. You get a little paperwork, you get the unit itself, and a multiple position cradle that the unit sits on. It's got a beautiful plug and play design, so even if you're computer illiterate, you can most likely have this thing up and running in just a few minutes. As far as gadgets go, this is one of the cooler looking ones on my workstation. So the MSRP on this guy is about 149 US dollars for the 15 button model. And there's a six and I think a 32 button model. So this one's kind of right in the, in the middle and it does give you quite a bit to work with. And I'm gonna show you right now, I'm gonna break down and show you exactly what I've got set up so you can see just how my stream my live streams might work. And it all begins with the top left button, which is just a screen capture. And to the right of that, I've got a little programmable clip that comes up, just a like and subscribe clip, just for fun. Below that, I've got my A7 III, which is my A cam, but it could be a webcam for you. And beside that, again, I've got my clip here set up just for this kind of case. And below that, we've got our button to make a double capture, which is our camera, as well as a screen capture, if you're doing some kind of gaming, perhaps, or a tutorial video, just like this. So really easily and nicely switch between these two. And we've also got a couple other clips just with one button press, we can maybe have something ready to go for our live stream. And on the bottom right, I've got my music set up that triggers my music. So just like that, we've got our starting soon clip. We've got a be right back clip and we've got a thanks for watching clip and I can stop it as easy as I started it. And it's really just as simple as that, a really nice transition to one thing to the other because everybody has a very short attention span. It's important to keep people engaged. And there's other buttons for fun like voice manipulation if you wanna go crazy and just <laughs> There's that too. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do. I've got one set up to mute my mic or one source completely. And then it's back on. So if you do have multiple sources, it's super easy to bounce from here to there, different cameras, different microphones. It's really convenient in that way. What else have I got on here? I've got a mute all button, and of course my go live stream button, so I can go on and off live streaming just by pressing the button, not having to fumble with software and whatnot. So it's a really convenient feature, and that's kind of the setup that I have here. And the software is also very intuitive. You can see here that this is our Stream Deck software. These are all my buttons. Very super easy, fast to customize and control. And all those LED buttons that you see here on the workstation, they're all customizable as well. You can put different pictures, different colors, different text. So it looks really cool on the workstation as well. And over here, we're working just beautifully fluidly with OBS software, which is a great free software. If you don't know what OBS is, definitely check it out. And I recommend you setting up OBS first. And when you do that, it's completely an absolutely a done deal. You can press a couple buttons and everything's set up for you in your Stream Deck software. Let's give it a try here and show you what I mean. Here's our profile one that I use for my live stream, but you can have as many profiles as you, as you want. If I wanted to make a new profile, I press prof a new profile button. And just like that, you can see that my stream deck here has gone completely blank. If I want to program one of those buttons, I can scroll down the list of all these available options and they are limitless. I'm going to use a scene and why don't we program that be right back button that we've already got here in our scenes in our OBS. And because they work so well together, they're already linked. It's going to pick right up on that. I'm going to name this one BRB. And here we've got scene because it knows that we're using OBS. And I'm gonna scroll down to BRB, which is gonna basically link that file to my button. And just like that, when I press that button, we've got our scene. So a really neat and really simple, easy and fun 
product that really doesn't break the bank at 149 US dollars. It's really not that too bad and it's, I think it's just really convenient. And yeah, it looks really good on the workstation as well. So you can absolutely customize this thing to your heart's content. You can use basically multi features where, or multi actions where you can customize the, the speed at which things come out. You can throw a text to your chat in a live stream as well as put some music and a clip playing all at the same time with one button press. Your creativity is literally the only limit on this thing. So it's for me, I think it's a really good pickup and it might be a little bit hard to uh, find right now because of everybody's going to town and starting a streaming or a YouTube channel right now. There's not much else to do. So if you have seen this thing and you're considering it, I would completely and fully recommend this product. It is absolutely fun and really smooth and it looks professional. So that's kind of my take on it guys. And I hope you liked this video. If it did help you out well, Consider hitting that like and subscribe button and drop all your questions and comments down below. If you want to pick this thing up, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description for you. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.